Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can make to do list in Angular. See, to do is not a feature of Angular. So you can see that this is the practice part or this is a mini project so that we can combine multiple features of Angular in single part. And that will give you a very good practice and you will get a recap of the multiple features uh, of Angular. All right. So first of all, we will make some properties for to do list. After that, we have to make input field and button. Then we will uh, make a function so that we can add items in the to do list. Then we'll display the all of the items and we will make a button so that we can delete any item from the to do list if we want. And at last we'll discuss some important interview questions related to the angular. All right. So this is our screen where we will uh, display the to do list and buttons and everything. So now let's uh, go to the application component app component basically. And there I'm defining two properties. First one is task and that will be empty by default. And another one is you can say that task list, right? So task list be, be, uh, will basically uh, array. So you can define empty array there. And the type of this is array of object. You can say that. So there will be two property. First one is ID. The type of ID will be number. And then second one is basically you can say that name and the type of name is string. All right. Okay. So after that, let's go to the app.component.html and uh, there make an input field. And you can add placeholder also and you can mention enter task name. After that, we can make a button there also. And you can say that uh, add task. And if you will see, this is how it's look like now what we want. So whenever we'll type something there, let's say I'm just typing something, uh, maybe go to office at 9 a.m. Right. So when I just click over there, that will be that should be added in the task. OK, so for that, first of all, we have to bind this input field with uh, uh, this task property right with the two bay winding or you can say that with the ng model and for that what we need to do uh yeah so first you have to import this form module and if this is not imported let me show you from scratch right so you can import it first import something from uh you can say that angular form and then you can put it inside the imports like this. After that, go to the app.component.html file and there use the ng model to bind this property. And uh, you need to use the ban banana braces. You can see that small braces inside this round braces and outside that square braces and put inside ng model. And then you can simply mention a task property, right? So now the both are binded. So if I'm just putting there something, let's say meeting at 10, then you will see which is present there. And if I'm just typing, okay, so let me just display there h1 tag and then task like this. So this is visible. And if I'm just changing inside something then same thing is changed in the task code. So this is a two way binding which we learned in the uh, last part. Okay. So now we able to get the value of input field in the task property. Now on the button click, I want to add this task to the list. Then what we can do for that. Let me create a click event there or first of that. Let me uh, make a button for add task like this and inside this we can say that this dot task list dot push we have to push two things there first one is id and second one is name so name will come from the task so you can say that this dot task and id uh, you can say that mm, this mm, dot task list dot length right and length for example length is initially zero then when we are creating its task then id should be one right so it should be length plus one so just make it like this 
after that if you want to check in the console you can mention this dot task list and now let's see if i'm just clicking over there you can see that first okay so if we have to call this function on the click of this button and we don't need this this task we can remove it for now and now if i'm just clicking over there you can see that the first task is added then maybe uh, you can see that uh, movie at 9 pm then click over there then you can see that the both are added so now this list should be visible there then for that what we can do you can simply use at the rate 4 and then use task of task list is it task list right yeah task list for task list and we have to provide their id also to this unique id you can see that then track will be you can see that task dot id and inside this let me take h1 tag for a moment and you can say that uh, task dot name all right so if i just click over there you can see that this is our first task then take path at 9 am come back from office at 7 pm so you can see that this is how they are getting added right but what I actually want i want to display their all three things uh, id name and delete button also because maybe we need to delete the uh, task right then use their ul like this then i'm adding their a list and there we can put their uh, task dot id then task dot name then task dot uh, no task load then we need a button there right simply so let me add a button and you can see that delete button so if i just click over there you can see that this list is coming like this but i don't want to like display like this so i just want to display it in a row then use flex justice content space between then list style should be none all right so now this is much better so i'm copying this and pasting in the css file there you can see that uh, task list you can create a class with this name and let's apply over the uh, you can see that list So this is uh, yeah we don't need these places. So now mm -hmm. okay so we have to save this yeah so this is much better. So let me create some list now. Uh, take bath at 7 a.m. Then second one should be okay so it should be removed when we are adding something new right. So then uh, what you can do. We don't need this console this dot task should be empty after this so now uh, uh, take bath at 7 or 8 then see this is now auto uh, auto clearing right uh, breakfast at let's say 9 okay so this is the list is uh, becoming big right so now I want to delete. Uh, I want to delete item on the delete button. So for that, what we can do, we can create a function first, right? So for that, let me create a delete task function, and there we will get a ID of element, right? And that will be type of number. And let me call this function now from on the click of this delete button and now we can call this function like this and there we have to pass the id task dot id perfect now there what we can do we can simply check this dot task list dot filter filter is basically a function that can filter out the result right so we will assign this filter filter out result 
there and there we have to use a callback function as a parameter there because this is how filter function works this is the javascript function core javascript function right then you can see that item and item dot id if not matching with the id this id right then it should be there after delete the element so now uh, when i just click there the current item uh, the item will be deleted with the existing matching id okay so we can this is already called right uh, yeah so now let me create again that list uh, take bath at you can see that 6 am breakfast at 7 go to office oh, let me correct this typo at you can see that 9 am then meeting with team at 11 lunch at 2 client meeting at you can see that 5 right so now let's say you want to delete the id4 so when i will once i will click on the id4 then this id will be received here with the help of this function right task.id so once this is received so we, we are checking there if in the task list this id is not present uh, this is present right so it will uh, assign the it, it will create the new task list without this id because this is removed there this is filter without this id all items will be assigned to there and they all, all are visible here with the help of this one right so if i'm just clicking on the meeting at 11 in the team so let's say i want to cancel it i just click over the delete and this is removed right so this is how uh, we can create a to-do list in the angular if you still have a doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section this is my paytm and gpay donation number and this is the fresh uh, angular 19 series you can watch it link is given in the description box that will definitely help you out for job project and interviews thank you so much guys